Now for a look at what's got one Chinese blogger writing today. Uh, today that blogger is Ke Yun Lu and he blogs on 163.com. He's a columnist and a writer with around a dozen books published on family issues. And today he's writing about that most delicate of triangular relationships, that of a man, his wife and his mother. Now he prefaces this with the old story of the question most feared by a Chinese married man. If his wife and his mother fell into a river at the same time, which one would he try to save first? And on a more serious note, Ke mentions a letter he received from a reader he calls Gu Zhe, who is so upset about the relationship between his wife and his mother that he's nearly decided to end his marriage. Now, the man tells of a particularly angry quarrel with his wife over whose family to stay with during the Chinese New Year, the Spring Festival. Uh, that's the time when Chinese families tend to come together to spend the holiday under one roof, but the question often is, which roof? The man's family or his wife's family? Uh, both families are expecting to be the ones chosen and are very ready to feel slighted if they're not. So uh, here's what our blogger has to say about it. The first thing I want to say is that one should cherish one's partner no matter what, but no true love exists without some setbacks as two people become closer. I believe marriage is the most important of all relationships. Although the husband and the wife become members of a family, the wife and her mother-in-law will not have such a close bond. So, if both sides try to understand and respect this situation, this can be the fundamental factor in maintaining domestic harmony. Regarding the problems between Guzza and his wife, I have two suggestions. One is that they should seek to resolve it rationally, and the other is to seek a practical solution. Here, I can give all married men some tips. Firstly, do not speak in defence of your mother. Secondly, better to show some flexibility to your wife. I mean, you can explain why you must do something and ask for her understanding. Finally, you can't expect to end a quarrel when both of you are angry. You should find a way to calm down first. Here I want to quote something from my book, Rules of Marriage. Everyone should remember that actually we need to get married three times. The first to the person you love, the second to this person's habits, and the third to his or her family. Well, following that advice-filled uh, blog piece, we have a number of comments that appeared after it to give you an idea of sort of uh, responses it elicited. Uh, this first one says, In China, when people marry, it's not only their business. At the same time, their two families will be united. It's quite different from a Western point of view. This poster has a view on the importance of maintaining individual space. It's better that couples maintain some private space. They can build a family together, but to enjoy a better life, they should not delve too much into one another's private affairs. And finally, a net user who draws a, a slightly different conclusion. It's the financial situation that would decide how a relationship between a wife and her mother-in-law turns out, as long as one side is not too greedy or selfish. Well, with that uh, comment, we wrap up our China blog section. Next up, as New York recovers from Superstorm Sandy, we ask people on the streets of Beijing about precautions and reactions to natural disasters.